What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Haley. This is Robin Haley and this video is a part of our wedding series and is the first video in a Wedding Wednesday series. So, this video is the first in a Wedding Wednesday series. I am doing this in collaboration with my friend Megan from Megan Lindsay. I will have her channel and video and everything linked down below, but basically every Wednesday we are gonna bring you a new topic about wedding planning. Um, she is getting married this coming July, so she has a lot more planned than I do. My videos are gonna be a mixture of tips, talking about what we're doing for our wedding, and also questions for you guys, because I am very stuck on many things planning for our wedding, and so I'd love your guys' input. Okay, so the first thing for this first video is wedding venues. So if you haven't seen, we went and visited a few wedding venues and we took you guys along with us. I will leave that in the cards. I think it'll be up here. Um, so you guys can check that video out. We did end up booking our venue and I'm really, really excited. It is a beautiful outdoor venue. However, we are not sharing too many details about it because we want it to be a surprise for you guys. But with that, I did a lot of research, thinking into things, like all types of stuff. So I'm gonna be sharing some tips that you don't wanna forget about when planning your wedding venue. And I'll share a little bit of details about our wedding venue. Before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoy, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our YouTube family if you love wedding content, wedding planning content, or anything else that we do from cleaning to essential oil videos to a ton of puppy content, then you'll definitely wanna hit that subscribe button, join our YouTube family, and it really does help us out when you subscribe. All right, let's get into these tips. So I have five tips of things you do not wanna to forget to ask about when you are looking at a wedding venue. Some of these are, you might think of already, but I tried to kind of find ones that aren't as common and things that I wasn't thinking about right away. So I hope this, that this helps you guys out. And if I left something out that you guys think is important to ask about, please leave it down in the comments below. I want this video to be super helpful, whether you're watching it right when I post it or in the future. I want this to be helpful for future brides to you know, kind of get a better sense of what you need to ask for at a venue other than the basic typical stuff that you always hear. First things first, check on decor limitations. So especially if your venue is outdoors, you wanna check on will they allow certain things. A lot of venues now will not allow sparklers because of fire hazards, especially here in California. Fire hazard is a huge thing. So our venue doesn't allow sparklers, which for us, that was fine. I'm terrified of fire, so I was not gonna do sparklers. But things like sparklers, the lighting, our venue is outdoor, like I said, and they have market lights. So that was something that I asked about, like do we have to provide extra lighting or is there enough lighting here? You also wanna ask about different things like if you wanna throw confetti or flower petals or rice. I know some venues don't allow rice anymore because it can be a choking hazard to um, birds. So you wanna ask about that if that is something you wanna do. Uh, one of the venues we visited mentioned that they allow uh, bubbles. So if that's something you wanna do, that's something else to ask about. And then also, candles like at an outdoor venue they may or may not allow candles like actual candles um i'm not sure what our venue actually allows but because like i said i'm terrified of fire so i will not have real candles regardless but you want to ask them if that's something you want to have on the tables or as decor do they allow candles or do you have to have like the fake candles that flicker which i think those look just as good you also want to ask about how and where you'll be able to hang your own decor i know some venues they will let you hang whatever you want on the walls. You just use like command strips or whatever. But some venues are a little more strict about what they'll let you hang where and how they'll let you hang it. So that kind of might limit some of the things that you want to or can hang. There's Mackie. <laughs> a little bonus tip, if you have a pet that wants to be in it, be sure to ask them if they're pet friendly and if they are pet friendly, if the pets are allowed to be around or if they have to be like in a crate after a certain point or something because that's also very important. Okay, number two is what is included in the venue fee? This is kind of a big one and probably something you're already planning on asking, but some venues are very basic and they just provide you the space and maybe like some lighting. 
So you wanna ask what's included. Do they include tables, chairs, linens, all of that type of stuff that you probably see when you see the venue, is that included or is that something that they just have there and you have to find a vendor or they have a vendor they work with? What is included in the actual venue fee? So for our venue, the space and all of the tables and chairs and linens and all of that is all included. That was something big for us because we didn't wanna to have to try to find a vendor to bring in tables and stuff. That just seems like a lot of extra work and it was nice that that was all provided by the venue. So that's something you don't wanna to forget to ask about. Going off of that, number three, you wanna ask them about timing. So timing is important for two different reasons. One, you wanna ask, when can your vendors start showing up? If they provide the tables and chairs and linens, when do they set that up? How long before the ceremony and reception? And how long can your, how soon before your ceremony and reception can your other vendors show up to start setting up like the DJ and the food and if you have an open bar or a drink station, all of that type of stuff, your florists to put your uh, table center pieces and other decorations around. When can all of those people start showing up? You don't wanna to go to a venue and they say, they can show up an hour before the reception because that would be extremely stressful. Um, our venue, the ceremony and reception is all in one, so they let the vendors show up very early before the ceremony starts so that everything is set up when guests start arriving. But that's something that you do not wanna to forget to ask about. And then the second part of timing is when can the bride, the bridal party, the groom, the groomsmen, when can all of them show up? And is there an area for them to be able to get ready? Some of the venues we looked at, there was only really one room on site for the whole bridal party to get ready. Obviously you kind of want the bride and groom separate, whether or not you're doing like a first look or whatever you want separate areas to get ready. The venue that we booked, they have a little bridal room and then a little groom's area, which is really nice. They're right next to each other, but you can't see through or anything. So it's nice that we have this little indoor and outdoor space. So all of my bridesmaids and I can go in there, we can drop off our stuff, touch up makeup and hair, get dressed if we need to, all of that. And you wanna make sure you ask how soon ahead of time you can arrive there. I think that this is really, really important because you don't wanna be rushing, you don't wanna to have to like show up again, even an hour before it starts, that could be very stressful. Um, our venue is allowing us to show up two and a half hours before start, which is plenty of time to finish getting ready, take photos, be all set up and everything. So don't forget to ask about that. Number four is transportation. First of all, parking. Does the venue have parking? How much parking do they have? Do they accommodate for however many guests their capacity is? And is the parking self park or valet? I feel like that's just important to know and then note on your invitations because if it is valet, people might wanna like bring some singles to tip or I feel like that's just important to know. And then also some venues will have shuttles that go to and from local hotels or if the venue doesn't have a shuttle, ask about the local hotels around there. They should know whether or not they provide shuttle services to and from the hotels. You also wanna ask about can Uber, Lyft, those types of services access the venue? Um, how easy is it for them? Our venue is kind of off the beaten road, so that was one thing I wanted to be sure to ask about, like can Uber still come and pick people up from this venue and they said yes. So don't forget to ask about transportation, especially if you are having a bar and people are gonna be drinking, you're gonna wanna think about that ahead of time and tell your guests, hey, you don't have to drive to the reception, I would take an Uber so that you can just enjoy your night and not worry about it. And that will be accommodated by the venue. Okay, the last tip that I have for you guys is if you have an outdoor venue, do they have a weather plan? I'm sure they will, but especially if you're like me and you're in California, thinking about bad weather like rain is not on your mind. Like I am getting married in the middle of the summer, so thinking about weather is like not even on my mind, but I remember that it would be important to ask because you never know what is going to happen with the weather. We've seen some crazy stuff happen this year already with Texas and all the snow. You just don't know what's going to happen. So you want to ask your venue if they have a plan B for if it rains or any other bad weather, do they do a tent or something? Or do they have a separate location where you can go and have it indoor? Or do they plan for like to move the date, which obviously you would not want that. Um, so what do they do if it rains the day of? 
if it is an indoor venue, but they're, you know, you have to walk between different places outdoors, do they have like prep for that? Do they help you out? What do they do in case of weather? Even if you're getting married in Southern California in the middle of the summer, you just want to ask about it because you don't want to be underprepared. All right, you guys, those are my five tips that you don't wanna to forget to ask about when you are looking for your wedding venue. Again, I will link the video of us finding our wedding venue so that you guys can kind of see some of the things we were looking at and get a very brief glimpse into what our actual venue looks like. Don't forget to check out Megan's video. She's gonna talk a ton about her venue and different things that she did while planning it. I'm really excited to see her video because I know her wedding is like really well planned because it's coming up real soon. So also, Comment down below if I left out other tips that you think are important to remember or if any of these tips were helpful. I'd love to hear from you guys. Next Wednesday will be a new wedding topic. And if you guys have any questions about wedding planning in general or any specific things, leave them in the comments below. I will answer them in the future videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel when you leave that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any future videos. I have a lot of fun wedding videos coming up as well as a ton of other content on this channel. So I'd love to have you be a part of our YouTube family. All right, you guys, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.